Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today we're back with another top tweaks list. Now, these are some of the latest and greatest tweaks that have been released within this last week, and this time by popular request, they are all entirely free. <laughs> So before we start, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more content just like this, and as always, don't forget to check out our Best Tech Info website for today's top tweak list with repositories as well as the download links to my wallpapers and of course all the latest jailbreaking news. All right, so let's get into today's video. So first up, we have Vitrum, which removes the background of your control center. Now, I really like this tweak because it also lets you put your own image in the background of the control center. And this one I have right here is just different than the one that I have on my home screen. So it looks like it's entirely on its own page. I really like this one, guys. Next up, we have Low Power DND which stands for Do Not Disturb. Now this is a great one for saving battery. It simply enables low power mode when you toggle Do Not Disturb. A great combination, in my opinion, that can now be done in one step. Size Finder shows you the size of your apps instead of the X button when in edit mode on the home screen. Now you can see things like the Facebook app that take up a ton of space and delete the larger apps so you can free up space quickly directly from the home screen. Advertis is an old tweak for iOS 10 that has now been updated for iOS 11. It gives you this awesome app switcher and other useful gestures such as locking the device. Now on iOS 10 this tweak was called Craze, but the same tweak for iOS 11 like I said is called Advertis. It works on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, just not on the iPhone 10 yet. Color My Dock is a simple one that easily lets you change your dock's color. It even can automatically adjust to your current wallpaper. Next up, we have Faster Scroll, which lets you adjust the scroll speed system-wide. Now I have it just bumped up a little bit here slightly on my device so I can quickly pan through my settings app and get to the tweaks that I want to select faster since I have so many installed here. Chroma Home Bar X gives you this awesome home bar at the bottom of the iPhone 10. You can set it to be a custom color or animate through the entire spectrum. Now I personally don't have the home bar even showing typically on my device, but this is a nice tweak for those of you who like the home bar. Now another update from Sorik is that he updated Apple File Conduit. Now this tweak lets you view your phone's entire file system when you connect it via a lightning cable to your computer. So there's no longer a need to SSH. With this you can simply plug your phone into your computer and you're good to go. Now this will come in handy when transferring large files. U-Respring lets you create custom respring GIFs. It even provides you links to find other animations. And with the latest version of this tweak that was just released this morning actually, you no longer have to apply it via Anemone. You can apply your custom animation GIF directly within the settings app. Then you can finally just respring and see your animation. Disconnected alerts you with a notification when your Wi-Fi network has dropped. This works great for when you're leaving your house and getting in your car, or if you're just having problems with your Wi-Fi at home. You will immediately be prompted if there's any issues. Now, one of my favorite tweaks that may actually help me make these tweak videos faster is called Wish Dia. This lets you add packages to a wish list in Cydia. All you have to do is click on a package, then select this icon right here at the top. Now to access your accumulated wish list, just head to the home page and click this little icon here and then you can see your entire list of packages that you want to try out. Now this list here is all of the tweaks covered in today's video in case you miss one of them. So you can catch them here or if you want the list entirely written out with repositories, head to the Best Tech Info article linked in the description. We just provide the list there so our YouTube description isn't miles long and it can stay organized and neat. Now very lastly, as a bonus 11th tweak, I'm using this tweak called V Wallpapers 2 to get these awesome video wallpapers in the background. Now for the time being, I will have linked the V Wallpaper deb file with the Best Tech Info article. The tweak was just updated for iOS 11 last week. Unfortunately, it is not currently hosted on a city or repository just yet. Anyway, this is not the easiest tweak to get up and running by any means. I may be doing a video about it early next week if you guys are interested. So be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section if this would be worthwhile for me to make a video on how to install the V wallpaper tweak and adding wallpapers manually. 
But if all goes right, hopefully early next week, the Wallpapers 2 will make its way to a Cydia repository in time for the video for easier installation. But it's been really fun playing around with this tweak. I've also been playing around with adding Apple TV screensavers to my Hackintosh screensavers as well, and the results just look pretty sweet. But again, stay tuned for a follow-up video on this, but for now, that is my top tweaks list for this week. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe for more top tweak and jailbreaking news to come. If you guys have the time, I would highly suggest to check out last week's top tweaks videos. That one took quite a while to produce and there was over 25 new tweaks that came out last week that were pretty epic. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.